Hi, it's Sandra here from Create in Spain and today I'm going to show you how to set up your silver bullet platinum with the double head, how to actually get that calibrated for print and cut. And you'll be delighted to know it's extremely easy, it will only take you a couple of minutes and you only have to do it the once, which is really quite nice. And it's also aided by this thing over here, which you can see my camera. It's a time cam. If you have purchased the Platinum, you will know that the time cam aids a laser alignment of your printing cut. Now, it is a separate app. The instructions with your machine will tell you to go to the store, the online store, and to download the app. You put the app into your applications folder and you close it down first of all. And then what you need to do is to open up Shortcuts a lot. This is version 5 Pro so you'll either have version 4 or version 5 Pro for this. And then you need to connect your machine to the computer. You plug it in at the mains and you take the machine offline and position the right tool holder to the bottom right of your piece of paper or card or whatever it is that you're using to do your test. Now I recommend that you do this with a pen tool because it saves a lot of aggravation. Having installed the app, what you want to do is to make sure that you have your computer and your camera lead plugged in to your computer as well. So you have a little thin cable that is a ribbon cable and it goes to a short cable which has got USB on one side, then it's got the camera switch in the middle and another USB on the other side. So when you've got that in place you'll have an on off switch. Switch your camera on before you open the app and that way when you go to the app preferences or when you go to the camera preferences I should say you'll have a choice between something like FaceTime probably and endoscope and you want to choose the endoscope and when you choose the endoscope after a second or two you should get this which is literally I can't put my finger down to there and we'll go this is right under my um, carriage on my cutter. Okay, I've got paper on my cutting mat and I've got a pen set in my holder. So once you've done that, you're ready to go. So the first thing you need to do when you're ready is to put any shape, it doesn't matter what it is, on your mat. Bottom right corner is a good place to put it as any. You just need something on it. And then you go to cutter and then you go to print and cut. And then you want to change this to the pen. If you're using a pen, you want to change it to a pen. Okay, and I want to go to Calibrate Laser. And then you get this screen. Now, with your camera, if that has now disappeared, what you want to do is go to your camera at the top left, and you want to select Borderless Mode, and that will keep it, like this one is, on my top screen all the time, okay? So whatever I do here, see the camera stays on the top so it means you can see it, which is always a good idea if you're relying on it to actually do anything. So I'm going to move this to one side. And so you get the laser calibration window come up. It's so easy. Click next. And then it gives you more instructions. And basically what we do is you use either these arrows here or the ones on your laptop or your keyboard, whichever it is, to move the carriage into the position where you want to do your test. So as it happens, I can move it along, you can hear it moving, like so. When you've got it where you want it to be, more or less, just press the scissors. Now in my case, because I have a pen in, you can see it's made a nice little cross, and it then moves itself to one side. So then all you have to do is use your arrow keys again to line up that dot with the center of your cross. 
And when you get close, you'll see your cross. Ah, there we are. And you can move it. Now, if you want to move it in smaller increments for a Mac, it's holding down the command key. I can't remember what it is for Windows. Sorry, you'll have to check that in the paperwork. There we are, you see? And you can move it into place. And then all you do is you press finish and you're done. That's your calibration. Now you can go ahead and do your print and cut as you would normally. Now, for those of you who don't know how to do a print and cut, it works very much on the same principle as this. You select your design, you make sure it's listed as print and cut, not just cut or print, print and cut, cut. And then you print it off. And once you've got it printed, you put it on your mat, you line up your carriage with the bottom left of the paper again, and then you just obey the instructions on the print and cut. And basically what you'll be doing is you'll be lining up this laser dot with three points, one on the top left, top right, and bottom right. And once you've done that, you'll be pressing the cut button and off it goes and it cuts it out for you, which is really nice. So that's how you do it. You'll find that your laser will stay switched on until you actually do a print and cut. So either switch your machine off totally if you don't want to do one at the time and then switch it back on or just pretend you're doing a print and cut. So for example, if I take this one here and I go to my cutter and I go print and cut, I actually haven't got any registration marks to line up because I haven't printed it. But what I would do is go to next and it will move the carriage to the top left. And then if it's not lined up perfectly, I would go left a bit or right a bit, whatever, up and down. A bit like Golden Shot if you're old enough to remember that. And then I will go to next and do the same again, and next, and then it tells me to cut, so I cut. And in my case, it's just drawn the square because I didn't have a pen, I didn't have a blade in there. So that's how you do it. So it is really, really easy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.